It's safer to be an airport Uber driver since your passengers went through TSA before getting in. Or are you picking up the pissed off people who got turned away by TSA? I am a part-time I'd call it opportunistic Uber driver who lives near a major airport. Regardless of flight delays, cancellations, etc. that make riders cranky, a good conversation helps out a ton. Most people are just angry at the airline regardless of weather cancellations. Now, driving in the same middle-class town at 12am to 2am when drunk people are going home arguments in the car, people smelling like smoke or weed stinking up my leather, prostitutes smelling like weak old crawfish needing a ride from the hotel back home. Yeah. I take the airport rides. ISNT it legal and common to just put weapons on your luggage? Doesn't sound safer to me. But you're dealing with people who just got off a flight and very likely had a horrible layover to boot. They are all ready to snap. Except TSA has been shown to routinely miss dangerous items. We used to airsoft a lot back in the day so had a TON of CO2 cartridges. Definitely not allowed on a plane and potentially very dangerous. We had five cartridges in the bottom of a backpack that we forgot about. It went through TSA about five times without issue. The sixth time they found them. That would require the TSA to have had an effect beyond safety theater. Weapons just go in checked luggage. The only safer travelers are those with only carry ONS. LOL you're assuming TSA is anything more than useless security theater. Then you realize the TSA is useless and routinely fails over 85 of their audits. TSA misses about 95 of banned substances, including knives, guns, drugs, and explosives. TSA kind of worthless. They fail like 90 of the time if I recall. Except for the very small problem that it's actually very easy to fly with firearms. I do it frequently. Comments here are trying to umackchyuallly scenarios where someone didn't go through screening. Most passengers are people getting off airplanes and it's definitely safer compared to a random location. Reminds me of Chris Rock I think talking about nightclubs with metal detectors not being safer, cause every brother outside know you ain't got a gun. I mean couldn't the passenger just stop at baggage claim and get their gun before getting in your car? Not necessarily. In Lax you can take a shuttle from bus to airport to connect to another bus. A lot of people can hang out in an airport and not even have business or flight there. Knowing what people have been able to get on board, accidentally and to test the employees, makes me doubt this a bit. Even if you're close to the airport, you never know where passenger will be when they request it in the app. I've flown with handguns before in check bags. You're supposed to have to pick your bags up with an ID at a baggage office or counter. The airport in my hometown? Nope drop them shits right on the regular baggage claim for anyone to grab. Definitely no security on arrival. You mean the same TSA that fails to find drugs, guns, and explosives about 80 of the time on their controlled tests? So you're saying there's money to be made selling weapons to my Uber passengers? Commercial aviation professional here. It's a big assumption that TSA actually has much of a measurable impact o safety. You realize that TSA is pure theater and fails to find 9 out of 10 loaded guns taken onto aircraft. FYI you can transport guns in checked baggage on almost all airlines with restrictions and processes that vary per airline. The TSA has never prevented a single terrorist attack in their whole history of existing. Yeah I, along with most people, literally saw the post where a taxi driver said the same thing. Why copy someone and pretend it's your own shower thought? Wally. Don't make me dig it up. Don't tell gun owners that, you might trigger them with gun control. But security doesn't check people leaving. A potentially bad actor could just as easily acquire a weapon from another bad actor between leaving the airport secure area and your vehicle. There's nobody more violent than a jet-lagged passenger after a terrible flight. 
or more dangerous because you don't know what the taxi mafia has waiting for you. As a rideshare driver, my concern isn't people with weapons, liquids over 5 ounces, and razors. Creepy, inappropriate, and angry passengers are the problem. Not a strictly true. I lived in Houston for a while and the best place for me to get a rental car was at IAH, even though I wasn't flying. The crazy part is that you can be dropped off near the rental garage but you cannot be picked up there. There's an airport queue for Uber Lyft and to prevent drivers from trying to circumvent it, they are only allowed to pick up people at the approved terminal entrance. So my return trip was drop the car off at the rental garage, get on the tram to go to the terminal, and then stand in line with everyone else waiting for an Uber at the terminal. A dot a taxi? Ubers can't really wait at the same places taxis can. Yeah but they also just got off a plane. So, basically the least pleasant people to interact with. Depends. If they are the color that get randomly selected then yeah. If they are white though then the risk is probably the same lol. I thought about doing Uber on the side until I saw that dash cam of the mother getting held up at gunpoint by the passenger. She was eventually was taken into a field and killed. Safe from getting shot, maybe, but you're far more likely to contract a contagious disease considering people can be coming from anywhere. Disease kills far more people than bullets, even in the US where we have state-funded fascist murder squads pulling people over for no reasons. Yeah but now they are homicidal, and anything in the right wrong? Circumstances can be a weapon. The real reason has nothing to do with TSA. Most criminals are poor desperate for money, willing to commit violence and there aren't that many poor people at airports. Simple. TSA does fuck all for security except potentially sexually harass you. They give off the illusion of heightened security when all it's done is infringe on people's privacy and normalized either having your naked body added to a database or bring felt up by another man or woman of your female. I mean I could easily go to an airport with a loaded gun, go to arrivals, and then call an Uber. Depending on which independent test you source the TSA miss something like 85 of firearms. It's pretend security with overt theatrics for the most exceptionally stupid Americans to feel safe. I was under the impression you can't be selective of your Ubering, any request from your city will come in? Does it count as a shower thought if it was originally a tweet? Most Uber drivers at the airport spend their time in the airport queue to escape their wives, you get one ride every hour for 20 bucks if you're lucky. Did Uber for a while trust me it's not worth it now. No they went through TSA, then exited the secure area prior to reaching baggage claim and getting in your Uber. Anyone can be walking around there, arming your next passenger. Well, except for the jag-offs who were pissed they had to check their gun because, why ain't no my freedoms, then are suddenly reunited with their salve of inadequacy, and boom suddenly a non-white in a BMW is supposedly to schlep him to his Motel 6. Assuming you're only Ubering people who have been through TSA, having come off a plane. What about Ubering people to the airport not having been through TSA yet, people leaving who couldn't get past TSA? At first, I thought you were referring to pilots as airport Uber drivers. Safer in a sense where you won't be robbed with a deadly weapon like a gun or knife. Still plenty of unhinged or unstable passengers at the airport ready to make someone's life miserable over anything. You are placing far too much faith in people who are paid fuck all to do their job. In 2006 I could have boarded a plane to Las Vegas with a weapon or explosive hidden inside my shoes. My boots set off the metal detector. They just asked me to remove them. I went to walk through again, they told me it's fine and sent me on my way. No x-ray for the shoes, nothing. And this was when America still had a raging erection for airport security after that plane incident. Well seeing as the TSA does absolutely nothing to keep anyone safe. A former boss of mine told me a story about a time he and his friend went to Europe. When they arrived, his friend realized he packed his handgun and TSA never caught it. He chose to throw it in the ocean because there was no way that would happen twice. 